Tamboril, the Dominican Republic. This is where PDR Cigars was born. 15 years ago, I partner up with the Rodriguez brothers and together we build a brand that is still going strong today. I've been coming here now over now 15 years, same road, same town. The town has changed a lot. The roads are more paved before it was all a lot of dirt roads, but I really love working here. The people of Tamaril, the Dominicans, the tabaqueros here, love tobacco, love what they do. You can feel the passion they have every day when they come to work. And that drives me, that drives, drives me every day to come here and do what I'm good at, to create something new every day, enjoyable experience for a person that wants to enjoy a nice cigar. It's kind of magical. This is where it all started. I met Juan Rodriguez in my old company, and he told me to come down because he made cigars. He had about six people working here, and uh, him and his brothers. And then uh, one day, uh, when I decided to leave my, the company I used to work for, he asked me to join him. And we started right here. We had, didn't really have a lot of money, we did our best for every, for every dollar we got. We bought a bale or two of tobacco, wrote some cigars, and then I went out with a book bag, hopped on a plane, and tried to make some money and sell it and sell my idea and sell my passion out to the consumers, to the smokers. And as I sold, I came back again, invested a little bit more tobacco, tried to come up with new ideas, new blends, and I went out again. Just me and my book bag and a little dream. It was so bad sometimes that when it rained, uh, because we really didn't have, a, we only had enough money to buy tobacco and pay the rollers that we had, that when it rained, like the, the roof was really bad condition that we would have to run up the, that little stair and throw a, a beat up tarp that we had on top, because if not, the, water, the running rattle will come to the side inside of the building and it will go into the little agent room we had and it will wet whatever cigars we had made that week. And we couldn't afford to be losing those cigars. That's the type of things that happened when we first started. But thank God we moved on and we grew. Well now, as you can see, the same building is now a funeral home. And uh, they're not making cigars there anymore. <laughs> so, uh, but it's, you know, it's a humble experience. Uh, every time I go by here, and this is the main entrance of Tamboril, I always see this place, it's still here. And I remember all the memories I had when we first started. Usually I get here uh, around six o'clock in the morning and I usually meet Luis in front and me and Luis and the, and the employees that we have open up the gate and we start turning on all the lights of the factory and making sure that everything that was left yesterday is ready to go and ready to produce today. So every employee has their station once the tobacco is placed down to La Galera in the tobacco station, the roller goes up to the station with a card that is prepared daily by Nandi with the blends that they're working for that day. 
They're given the tobaccos, the fillers, the binders, the wrapper, and they work in pairs. You have a bonchero, you have a pegador. So throughout the day, they're making the cigars that we currently use for PDR. Soy el encargado en la cuestión de la elaboración del cigarro. Me encargo de lo que tiene que ver con las ligas. En cuestión de empuño, tengo que verificar que todas las ligas salgan eh, perfectamente. Se la coloco detrás de una tarjeta para que en el despacho no tenga ningún tipo de discrepancia ni tenga ningún tipo de movilidad en cuanto a lo que es el tabaco. O sea, que las ligas salgan exactas. En cuestión de pegada, hagamos la utilización del pétalo y que la capa sea bien extendida y bien terminado, o sea, que la elaboración sea lo más exacta posible. Hagamos la utilización de filtrona, eso es con respecto al tiro del cigarro, que el tiro tenga una buena consistencia y tenga un buen sabor. Tenemos dos supervisores inmediatos, dos controles de calidad, para que cuando vaya a la mesa el cigarro salga con la mejor textura posible. Después de eso, En la tarde, cuando terminamos nuestra labor de trabajo, empaquetamos y colocamos en una pizarra para finiquitar el día, o sea, para culminar el día y que nuestro trabajo salga lo más excelente posible. The tobacco the PDR uses come from the Dominican Republic, Brazil, Ecuador, and Nicaragua. A lot of seeds that we use are Cuban seed, either Corojo, Habano, Olor Dominicano, and these are tobaccos that we process, we sort, ferment, and then we prepare them in a way that we are able to give these pre-packed blends to the roller for them to be able to roll the cigar for that day. Once the cigar has gone through our 72-hour freezing process, the cigar itself gets put in these wooden crates and stored into the aging room for up to three to nine months. Then after that, my team inspects the cigars in the crate and determine if the cigar is ready to be packed. Once my team and I have determined the cigar is ready to be packed, the cigars are taken in their wooden crates into the packing department. The classifier will sort the cigars by color and then place them in these wooden trays. Then they're given to be banded, cellophane, or either placed in boxes or in bundles. That's how a PDR cigar is packed. My name is Luis Manuel Rodriguez. Estamos aquí en la función de cuidar la finanza de la empresa, que eso es lo que me encargo yo. Tengo 40 años en la producción del cigarro, que cada día nos sale mejor. Tenemos nuestro tabaco, nuestra capa, nuestro capote por el año. Entonces nosotros por ahí somos felices para hacer nuestras producciones que le salgan perfectas a los clientes. Nosotros creemos que estamos haciendo lo mejor en PDA y cada día vamos a hacer lo mejor. Porque esto es lo que nos da la garantía a nosotros que hacemos los mejores cigarros de la República Dominicana y con Abraham Flores ahora, nuestro socio, es cada día mejor. Pide altas en los mejores momentos, de cada día creciendo y creciendo y queremos seguir creciendo con Flores y Rodríguez. At the end of the day, when all the employees have left the building, myself, Luis, and my team will do one final inspection to make sure that all the stations are properly cleaned, all the tools are put away, and the tobacco are properly stored. Then Luis and I will do one final look back, and the lights are turned off. But sometimes, my night has just begun. I'm Abe Flores, and I am PDR Cigars.